Now, there's a lot of information on this next slide. Don't freak out. You don't need to type it all. But one thing you do need to type is the definition for description. It explains a topic using characteristics, features, and examples, like the color. What color is something? How big is it? What shape is it? What are the features? This is something that you need to know. This is how you will identify if it is a descriptive text. You will also find single words. You don't need to write you don't need to write this sentence. You should make note that there are signal words. And I'm going to give you a list of things to look for in the text. And when you see these, your brain should automatically go, that's descriptive. Because you see these words, that's describing something. These are your clues. If you see anything like this, you know you are looking at a descriptive text. If you're reading a passage and it says, for example, blah, 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 yada, 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 characteristics are such as looks like, consists of, for instance, most important. This is how you know that you are looking at something that is descriptive writing. You don't need to make a fancy list like I did with bullet points or whatever. You can just write them down in a sentence and separate them with commas. That's perfectly fine. These are for your notes so that you know in the future that if you see any of these, you know it's a descriptive All of these slides will be available to you after this class is over. We will make sure that they are up on Google Classroom so that you have reference to them all the time. that it is on topic. I told you I will come back to that other slide. <laughs> if it is on topic, on one topic, there will be a topic word. That word might be something like Skittles. And the entire passage will be about Skittles candy. And you will know that because it will say Skittles over and over and over again, or some synonym, like this rainbow candy, that would be a synonym for a Skittle. It is one topic and its components. Here's a big word, components. We are going to do a think, pair, share. So I want you all to think. What is components? Think about it. I am not good with 
this mouth. So you got this mouth. So you're gonna think about it. Put your hands down. What are components? Don't worry about the slides. If you didn't get all the notes, the slides will be available to you. Do not panic. There is no panicking. Now I want you to turn to the person sitting next to you. Turn to a seat, buddy, and share what you think components might mean. of materials, vague but accurate. Charlotte? Big and lots of desks. Big and lots of desks. Ronan?
be confused eyes from some people. Does everybody have the passage? What's the passage? What's the description of the passage? Oh. oh, it's still under descriptive text structure. You have to go back into the descriptive text structure. Okay. Once you see the title, raise your hand. Okay, everybody all together, what's the title? The Blue Jay. The Blue Jay. I am going to read it out loud. I would like for you all to follow along. I am going to pull back this slide, and you'll understand why as I'm reading. The Blue Jay is usually between 9 and 12 inches long. Its feathers consist of blue, white, and gray colors. Their tails look like they have stripes on them. Blue jays eat many things, such as fruits, acorns, seeds, nuts, insects, mice, and even frogs. They live in many places in North America. For example, they can be found in Southern Canada, in the United States, east of the Rocky Mountains, and on sports fields across central Pennsylvania. Most importantly, they are migratory birds and will fly south for the winter. How do we know that's a descriptive passage? Describes the size of the bird, absolutely. Colby? It says such as. Such as. It shows you those signal words. They are all over the place. Even without those, you can look and see summary questions that I have listed here. If it answers these questions, you know that it's a descriptive nonfiction passage. What specific person, place, thing, event, or concept is being described in that paragraph? A blue jay. How is the topic described? How does it work? What does it do? What does it look like? Does that passage tell you what a blue jay looks like? No. Yes. Yeah. Who said no? Owen. Oh my goodness gracious. Owen. What are the most important attributes or characteristics? Does that passage tell you important characteristics of a blue jay? Yes. How can the topic be classified? Like if you were talking about a cod, it could be classified as a type of fish. A blue jay can be classified as a bird. Absolutely. So we're going to take a closer look at this passage, and we are going to figure out how we can identify. handing out a paper so you should know to take a pencil out. The first thing I want you to do is put your name on the paper. You're welcome. After you put your name on it, there is a space for the title of the article. The title of the article is, what's the title of the article? The Blue Jay. The type of structure So your name should go on it. Sorry, Jeff. The title of the article is The Blue Jay.
I'm seeing people with the paper who do not have certain things filled out. I suggest we get on that. I did not forget you guys. I should do that. I should do that. That is an easier way to do it. Next time I'm just going to hand the stack out and have the kids just pass them amongst themselves. Does everybody have a paper? Now does everybody have a paper? No. giving me three examples. There are more than three examples in the text. I only need three from you. So you are going to look through and you are going to find a place where it says, for example, and you're going to write, for example, under signal words. And then next to evidence, you are going to write the evidence given by the text that it is descriptive. and then write the sentence that goes with it, you can do that as well. If you are confused, you can raise your hand or you can ask your table buddies.
not have at least two. Everybody have at least two examples. Does anybody not have two examples? I need the signal word and then the evidence that shows it is descriptive. Jacqueline, what you got? Um, the signal word is jet fly. Do you have any examples with many things such as birds, acorns, trees, nuts, insects, mice, and even cows? Excellent. Piper. Sentence, 
so that you remember what the item is because I think you just parsed that. Yes. can go in your book bag or into a folder or something because you will be getting more of these graphic organizers as we go through this unit. In your descriptive paragraph, have your header. Don't forget to skip a line. Indent your paragraph. Yes. That's okay. It's pencil. It can erase. It is not a big deal. If that is the worst thing that happens today, I think we are doing wonderful. You are going to save this Word document something appropriate. You can call it Random Descriptive Paragraph. Or you can name it after whatever is on the card that I handed you. But you are going to write a paragraph using signal words to describe your item. Can you touch it? What does it feel like? If it's something that you eat, what does it taste like? Or how do you make it? If you have something like oatmeal raisin cookies, you could say it consists of oatmeal, raisins, Flour, I don't know what's in those cookies because I don't eat them, but a lot of people do. If it's something vague, like a car, describe any car. It can be your car. It could be a car that you passed on the interstate that you thought was really cool looking. What's up? No, I need at least three examples. That was an excellent question. Thank you. If you don't know specifically what your item is or you need help, Google is your friend. You are allowed to Google. But I need at least three descriptive examples. My item consists of blah, blah, blah. It looks like yada, yada, yada. Except don't use yada, 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 or blah, blah, blah. You will lose points for that. So go ahead and write me a paragraph, three sentences. When you are finished with your descriptive paragraph that features your heading, a space, an indent, and at least three descriptive bits and pieces, 
there is an assignment for it in Google Classroom. That is under writing, so you have to scroll down and it says writing, descriptive passage, or something along those lines. I don't remember at this point exactly what I call it. But it is writing and it is descriptive. You will submit to that folder your Word document, not a picture, not a cloud share, actual Word document when you're finished. You are done, hold up the card and I will come around and pick them up. <laughs> or if you don't need your card anymore, I would gladly take it off of your hands. Signal words. What's up? 
I want it as a Word document. Save it as a Word document. Not a screenshot, not a PDF, a Word document. Descriptive nonfiction if you have not turned it in yet. How many of you are finished and have turned it in? Again, to submit this, you will save it as a Word document, go into Google Classroom. The assignment is called Writing Descriptive Nonfiction. You will have to scroll to find the assignment, and that's how you click and you submit the Word document. I need at least
everybody should have a hand up. Because if you don't have a hand up, I'm going to think that you don't know. I might not call on you, but you should have a hand up if you know. Caitlin. By the signal words. Charlotte. How do we know that a text is descriptive? You can repeat an answer, it's okay. Signal words. Ben? If it describes something, Brock? Labels that describe a part of something, Declan? If it tells you what it's like. If it tells you what it's like. Who are you? Nicholas, but I go by Nick. You go by Nick. Okay, Nick, what do you got for me? Did everybody hear what Nick said? Yeah. Say it again a little louder. It explains a topic using characteristics. It explains a topic using characteristics. Do you see what Nick did? He just read off of the board. See, this is why I said you guys should all have a hand up, because I didn't realize I still had that slide up. So if you have not finished that paragraph, you need to finish that and get it submitted to Google Docs, or Google Classroom, I mean, in a doc format. And we will build upon this lesson tomorrow. Good job, everyone.